Okay, so this is my SEMA X8C, and this is a 3000 milliamp hour battery, and I can fit it inside. So watch the uh, rest of the video and you'll see how I've done it. Today, hopefully, I'm going to be installing this battery here. It's a 3000 milliamp hour battery. So it's a lot bigger than the um, 2200. It's slightly, slightly larger than the standard battery and slightly thicker so I'm going to be fitting this in the um, CMAT X8C and obviously I'm going to have to take this apart and then cut some of the plastics out inside so hopefully I can fit this in there and also I need to put a XT60 connector on this side like that uh, the battery is rated um, 20C with um, 30C maximum discharge, so hopefully that should be okay. I should think it will for this um, quadcopter. Right, so the first thing to do, you need to take the um, all the props off. Right, so I've got all the props taken off now. So uh, it's now it's a matter of taking all the uh, screws out of here. You take the covers off the um, motor housings. Or we can get to the other screws to take it apart. So that's just two screws on the um, motor cover. And then there's just um, two screws either side of the motor and then one at the top here. And that's the same for all four. Right, so I've got all my um, screws out. Um, just need to be careful because uh, where you're... You've got four screws in the centre of either leg. There's one there, one there, one there, one there. You need to also lift your um, stickers up on the edge here because if not you won't get it undone. Top's off, I've um, undone the um, main board screws, there was uh, five screws holding it down. Um, underneath here there's a um, plastic section which holds the board and all I'm going to do is, is um, cut the central part out so then the battery will be able to slide straight in. So I'm not going to actually unsolder everything. Uh, I don't think there's really any need to. Hopefully I should just be able to um, cut it out of the pliers without going that far. So just be careful of the wires that you don't pull any off.
we've cut cut the section out which needs to come out. Now hopefully we might be able to get that battery and I might need a bit more trimming. Yeah, just a little bit more. Uh, right, so I can't get in there to trim it properly, so the um, bit that holds the circuit board, there's another plastic section, it's held down with screws. So what I'm going to do is, is just go in there, take the screws out, and then should be able to pull. Part out that holds the circuit board. So, yeah, there we go. So all I'm going to do is just trim this up um, along the line just here and that should do the job. It's nicely trimmed up, should fit in there perfect now. Right, so cut it all out, and if you can see that, probably not, or probably. Um, cut this out to the same diameter as uh, where the bottom rails are, which um, guide the battery in. So now that 3000 milliamp hour battery, which is about half the size thickness again basically, we can slide that straight in. And when I get the connector on it, I should be able to shut the door on it as well. So that's how you fit a 3000 milliamp hour battery in your SEMA X8C. Pretty good actually. Not too tight. Um, what I did do was uh, the power cables, instead of having them, um, because now I've taken that piece away, which was in here. I've wrapped them underneath and around the side of the circuit board so they don't get in the way and it will um, add a little bit of strain relief to the wires as well. So now all I need to do is uh, put an XT60 ok so now I'm ready to um, modify the battery change the connectors on it it's got two sets of thin wires so they need to be paired together the red to the red and the black to the black so what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to cut one side at once so I don't accidentally short them out And then, <clears throat> and then strip the wires. And then get both pairs and twist them together. Like that. And then tin the wires. Now, I'm going to connect one side at a time. 
little 2D terminals. I want a piece of heat shrink little fit. Need some heat shrink to do this. Remember to put that on first before you solder it up. Make sure you put put it um, on the negative side. Just leave it a second to cool down before you put the heat shrink on. Because if not, your um, heat shrink will shrink before you get it over the um, metal terminals. Right, so then connect your positive. Uh, be careful when you do this so you don't short it. And make sure you do pair these wires up because if you don't solder both of them together, you won't be able to draw enough current from the battery. You have as much power. So make sure you pair them up. And then just use a lighter or the um, back of a soldering iron to just shrink the heat shrink. So, there's our new XT60 connector. Now, if you plug that into the seamer, yep, there we go, it's working. All seems to be working okay. Hopefully I'll make a flight video and we'll find out how long this will work for. I'm hoping on about 15 to 20 minutes at least, hopefully. But um, don't attempt this if you don't think you can do it because I won't be responsible for um, any damage you cause to your SEMA X8C. If you blow it up, it's your own fault. Uh, Mine works perfectly because I've been careful doing it and took my time. And uh, that's all you need really, just uh, take your time when you're doing it. Make sure nothing's shorted out, because if you short the battery out, you're liable to either start a fire or the battery will explode. So uh, be careful when you're playing with batteries, never short them out. But, uh, I'll put a link in the description to where this battery come from. And the um, XT60 connectors as well, just in case you're interested and you want to do it yourself. Okay, so yep, I'll be testing this uh, in the next video, hopefully, um, if, if the weather's good. So, yep, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.